Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. Well, uh, in yesterday's news, pending home sales uh, were actually quite good. Much higher than expected. Just take a quick look here. Um, they were expecting uh, 93.9 and they got 97.4 or actually the prior they didn't have any consensus but um, month to month change they were looking for a 0.6 and here it was a 3.4 and also <clears throat> excuse me on the manufacturing survey out of the Dallas Fed the consensus was 6 and it actually was 11 so that's a good number uh, for that and for today we have the case Schiller at 9 o'clock and consumer confidence at 10 so I guess if you got money you're confident if you don't have money you're not okay uh, let's take a look at what's going on across the ponds in Asia we are mixed and in Europe positive across the board green all the way let's take a look at the US futures we are green across the board also uh, up a good quarter percent in most cases gold is down below 1300 again and oil is above 101 overnight okay what did I do yesterday I entered this FedEx and I entered too early we'll talk about that in a moment and also I entered this 20 Delta on the Q's and we will talk about that let's jump right over to the A plus list I'm also um, working with a trying to see if a um, a different moving average for my exponential moving average um, I probably should make this totally different so I'm going to change it back right now I have it on a 20 day moving average uh, I'm going to change it back to 50 for this morning and then I'm going to add a third moving average which would be the 20 day and I want to see if that is going to help us as uh, another means of a confirmation I figure 20 days because it's a multiple of five most of our stuff here we're trying to uh, keep to a multiple of five so um, that's sort of what uh, what I would like to do okay so starting out with Apple uh, Apple is on a tear so we are definitely in an uptrend so we're going to throw a target in and see if we can get to it I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in Apple when it does I think it's a 7 to 1 split or 1 to 7 split um, for each single share you'll get 7 will it get up to $700 so it can stay on our A plus list I don't know because if it gets up to 700 by then, and I'm not sure when this split is coming, um, but it does, if it does get up to 700 by then, then uh, it'll be around the $100 mark after it splits. All right, let's move on. Amazon. Uh, Amazon is in the diggers for sure. So we're looking for a target up here. Boeing. Boeing, I think, is going to continue its downward trend, it would say here. I would say, so we're going to throw a target up here. Baidu is, um, we're not sure what's going on with Baidu. But if we get a good solid red or a good solid green, we get in with a 20 delta on it. Um, a better probability of success, but higher risk at 20 for a delta. A 50 delta, of course, is a, a lesser probability, but a 
lot less risky because you're not risking so much money. So <clears throat> just give me a solid line in either direction and a hook and I'm in. Sell gene. All right, we are in a downtrend, so we need a solid green line. This doesn't qualify. This could be a 20 delta, though. If we get, uh, you know, a, a little bit of a pop in price, and then we get a hook down, that's a 20 delta for instant. Well, we missed this one, that's for sure. That would have been sweet. But we had earnings, so we needed to be concerned about that. So we'll look for another opportunity here. So I'm going to put this in here, and this would be like a 20 delta. And maybe I'll just change the color of this and pick out something that I know is different. Or make it different, differentiate it from everything else. So we'll make yellow targets, 20 delta targets. Alrighty, moving right along. Chipotle. Chipotle's kind of a surprise here. Um, it was definitely moving very, very nice for a while. Up. Unbelievably. <laughs> I don't know how. I just, uh, this is way too expensive for a fast food stock. I mean, What's McDonald's now? Maybe like 80 bucks or something like that? Let's see what it is. And I think McDonald's is probably a mature stock. It's up there around 100 bucks now. You know what? We might add this to our A plus list. They're only giving a penny dividend or 81 cent. It's 81 cent dividend. Yeah. Uh, my eyes are a little blurry this morning. I almost overslept. Ooh. Forgive me. So we might be adding them to our A-plus list, but where were we? We are at Chipotle, right? Okay. All right, still waiting on that one. Costco. Yeah, I might just add McDonald's. Um, we are reversing trend, it looks like, on Costco. So we're looking for a target down here as soon as I can get my drawing tool to work here. Chevron. Uh, we have earnings coming up. Take a pass on that. See how the doll looks. Uh, we have a hook here. So this actually is now alertable. Not sure that I would do a 50-50 or a CSSV2 trade per se on this or 50 delta. I might do a 20 delta. But I'm going to throw an alert on it anyway. So you may ask why wasn't this a setup yesterday if it's an alert today? Well, I wasn't sure if this was going to get what it was going to do here. Preferably, you know, we want it below the 20, but if we touch the 30, that's good enough. And in this case, it was good enough. And it really is a 20 delta. I just want to let you know that if I would get into this, it would be a 20 delta, and it would have an expiration of next week, not this week. All right, Igor. Ooh, how sweet you are. But we have earnings next week, but we still could pop for a trade this week. So this is a very nice setup here. Same as yesterday. Yesterday it was a setup. Today it's a setup. Just a deeper one. All right, FedEx. We are in FedEx. So what I did here was a little anxious. I should the rules state that for a setup you wait until 3.30 in the afternoon. So I probably, I may have gotten a strike a little bit lower here. Uh, but as it is, we're sitting here right now. Um, and this was about 11 o'clock or so when I got into this one. 
I put a limit order in because I figured it might pull back around lunchtime like things do a lot of times and uh, it did and we're not in all that bad of a shape here we're only um, we're at 135 here for the strike and the price is at 134.53 so that's not all that bad we did get a failure later in the day on the MACD for confirmation but we might be okay um, not like gonna give up on this all right f5 um, we have a new downtrend so we're looking for a target up here gold is down overnight as we can see here uh, we do have a 20 delta on this Yeah, so we'll see how that one works out, if it can keep its head above water here. And Google is up next. We're waiting for it to hit our target here. We have to slide it over because we're going to have to wait for more time on that one. IWM. very pretty little pattern here I believe that this is going to be a 20 Delta setup yeah this is looking pretty good it's flat here so we're just looking for a price based entry and we're using the stochastics to try to identify that a little bit early so if we get a green hook here on a stochastic doesn't necessarily have to be on the MACD and we get price moving up above this close here then uh, we would do a 20 delta on this and that's the same with DIA so let's see what we can get on IWM for next week's expiration at uh, 20 delta with a bull put alright we have not enough here we need let's go to 24 all right 20 delta 107.50 back to the chart 107.50 is down here so that would be pretty good so remember yesterday I said that it's usually like a 5 to 1 risk reward for that for a uh, 20 delta so here we have let's make this a dollar spread so it's a little bit easier to figure out so that you need 20 cents to have a 5 to 1 risk reward so we may have to and this is at a 22 delta we may have to go to a 20 this 24 delta at 108 107 that gets us a little bit closer not that much actually but that's pretty close to a 5 to 1 risk reward at a 20 delta so it's basically comes down to um, take this 20 delta and uh, divide 100 by the delta and you get pretty close to what your um, risk versus reward is so 20 delta 100 divided or 1 divided by 0.2 is 5 so uh, that's where we're at that's how we kind of figure that roughly very roughly all right so uh, that's what we would be looking for on IWM LinkedIn uh, we're looking for uh, something going on here we have earnings which what direction would you pick for earnings I don't know I might do an earnings play on this what what if we mm, let's just think here a little bit let's just figure out if we want to just buy like a may put Alright, if we wanted to go in the money, it would cost a 
thousand dollars for a roughly a 50 delta and if the price drops 15 that would be down to uh, that would put us 15 in the money so that'd be 165 that would give us that it may move it it may double in value if it moves in the right direction so that's something to think about and we're looking at a IV of 75 <laughs> percent and the percentile is in the 93 so that would be a very expensive option the price probably would not double because you might have to go way out uh, because your IV is going to drop so the intrinsic or extrinsic value is going to time value is going to deflate but if we were to go to June and get a 50 Delta wouldn't cost us all that much more twelve hundred dollars right here and if it moves 15 5 10 15 moves to there it would be let's see I think I can mark both of these no that won't let me do that it would be um, about double again it would cost you a little bit more, but I don't think your IV is going to deflate as much as it's going to deflate up here uh, in any of these. So we're down to, well, actually, this weekly is at 48. Um, if we went to November, ooh, that's to almost double. You know, we don't want to touch that. I would say June. June would be about as far as I would want to go. And maybe this June 1 here. Possibly. So that's a thought for LinkedIn. Let me close all these up here so I don't get confused. There. Okay. Back to the monitor tab. Let's look at 3M. Well, wait a minute. Let's go back to LinkedIn. When is their earnings? It is... That's Thursday, right after market on Thursday. All right. All right, I just made a note of that, and we are, I'm going to set a appointment or a task on my calendar to take a look at this on Thursday. Of course, if I was going, well, yeah, it probably would be a good idea I think I'm going to do this today. I'm going to make a decision today because if I'm just going to buy a put and the price keeps moving down, I'm going to buy that put today. Okay, uh, 3M. What do we have here? We're still on an uptrend. We didn't quite get our mark, so we have to wait for that one to mature a little bit. Netflix um, is definitely. I think they're raised, they want to raise their monthly subscription for streaming. So that that was probably not a real good thing for them to do at this time. So the market didn't like it, so we're in a downtrend. Priceline. Uh, right, we're waiting for something to come up there. The Qs, I got in on this yesterday with a 20 Delta. And it was... Um, see here I can't scale this let's see what time I did this yeah that was around the same time as FedEx and we're in that spiders seeing if we can possibly get this might be a 20 delta hook here so that's what we would be looking for there and move this over and get yesterday in there there we go and Here, 
just let me back out here. This is what I want to be able to see this like that. There we go. I want pre-market yesterday and beginning of today's market. Okay, so that's where we're at here. This is another 20 delta setup. So basically all the indexes of the, or all the ETF of the major indexes have set up. TLT, we are in with the 20 delta and it's working out pretty good so far. Tesla, uh, earnings next week. Mm, we have a setup here, still looking for a setup. We'll take a look at it and we'll put it on our list. Okay, Union Pacific. Uh, we have a setup. Day two of the setup. And last but not least, a Visa. Uh, downtrend. Looking for an entry. Okay, so that's it for today. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.